Okay, we are back for more hardcore. Well, sort of. Anyway, we've got... Well, I've got a brain and an eyeball. It's been a few days since I played this. So I'm going to be a little bit rusty. Kind of expect it. I need to turn my headphones up, but audio should be fine for you guys. I had them turned down because I was watching some YouTube videos. But any hoozle, let's go ahead and confuse the crap out of these guys and nuke them with our uh, lovely shots here. Now, I will probably end up farming up off screen whenever we get into nightmare difficulty because I think I do want to end up getting a... Oh, uh, whatchamacallit. Brain fart and insight. There we go, an insight on the mercenary. That way I have essentially unlimited mana whenever we get into nightmare. That's going to be one of those things I'm going to probably spend quite a while farming up. Probably hours if I had to like give a rough estimate. Because those are going to be pretty important. Let's go ahead and get those guys confused. Just so they stop reviving those and we'll even get you confuzzled. You can see we're getting okay mana from this. We do want to keep Mercenary alive and do want to keep things from getting completely all up in our grill. So as far as the Mercenary goes, yeah, we're fine with him being as he is. He's got a Malice Armor, Stealth Armor, I mean Malice Weapon, Stealth Armor, all that kind of stuff set up. So he should be pretty well taken care of. And apparently, just one second. Uh, there we go. Zoop. Had to close something so I could actually see what was going on. Yeah, I couldn't see chat. So, yes, for those of you wondering, yes, I am streaming this over on the Twitches. I may switch Diablo 2 to being streamed on YouTube and actually have the... Ooh, my. And actually might end up with the Twitch streams being just variety games. I don't know yet. That would be a lot of trouble. But it would also be a lot easier for the people who are super interested in Diablo 2 to find that. Whereas the people who are on the Twitch stream seem to be a little bit more interested in a nice mix of variety. A flavor mixer, if you will. But yeah, now we're just literally going to the east. Hopefully not getting into too much trouble. All we really have to do is... yeah. Wow, did, why did that confuse not stick? Why? Because it's not a sticky confuse. But... Let's keep on dodging there. But yeah, it would be a lot more to juggle. But at least then people would be kind of like in their own little... Oh, there's a mana burn boss in there somewhere. Or no? Did we really just... It feels like we got hit by a boss pack there. Or we drained all of our mana somehow. I don't know. We do have a replacement mana potion at least. And we do have some more mana potions here. Let's identify you. We are looking for better amulets and stuff like that. We do actually have okay jewelry, oddly enough. Uh, ring would be a nice improvement, but eh. Eh. Oh, yeah, and I keep forgetting. I actually have a golem. I've been recording too many other things. It's like I forget what I have to summon on this. Because I've been doing a lot of the uh, versus recording lately. For those of you wondering, that is where I compare two things. Just straight up against Diablo. I will probably mix it up in the future, and I will probably be doing different shorts beyond that. But that's going to be over on the main channel. So, mana potions. Yes, we will take as many as you dropped, which is all of two. I'm disappointed. But, yeah. I do need to record some of this, and I need to record some more. Salasta! Although, we actually have Salasta releasing right now. So, that is good. And I am also, I do need to keep an eye out for good wands. Because a good two socket wand for uh, Dole Io, which would be a white wand, would be a really, really big boon for us. But no guarantees. And yes, I will continue to do the thing where I record if I do any off screen grinding. Just because if I die, I want a record of it. Just for the sake of completion. We shouldn't have too many problems in here i just need to find the lightning enchanted guy and he's the last big thing that i have to worry about in this act we can cheese mephisto the council could be a little bit rough yeah council could be another big thing that kind of could potentially kill us i think we just want to go this way and hope for the best and this should be them all right here should start seeing a wall here yes we will and just get them kind of uh, barricaded off. Oh, wow. They're actually just really destroying that. 
like really easily. I forgot how tough these little buggers were. Oh, no, 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 no. There you go. You're gone, good sir. Probably should have um, made the mercenary bugged for all of that. Ooh, a magic bone wand. That could be better. And I think we're okay. So let's see. Identify you. You are Clay Golem and Dim Vision. We actually have a Clay Golem kind of boost there. Yeah. Do we actually grab this instead of that? So we have plus six Clay Golem whenever we summon it here. So it's a level seven Clay Golem with 372 life. Yeah, I think we do. This Maelstrom is kind of fun. We'll keep it. We'll put it into a like hardcore stash. Exclusive to hardcore. And then we'll go from there. Now, as far as lower cuirass, there's really no reason for me to run it in a normal difficulty. So, for the most part, we're going to ignore it. We might pop a few chests, but chances of us getting anything good from it, pretty dang slim. As we get a Nefrune. Um, that's nothing good, but it's there. We could make a Nader helmet or something like that if we wanted to, but eh. That's usually not worth it. So what we want to do is we want to run through here, not worry about most of the enemies we're going to have to deal with. Because, frankly, most of them are not going to be worth our time. We want, um, Caress Bazaar is where we want to be. That way we can get ourselves the stat book. Because stats are always a good thing. Are we going to get top or bottom? We should probably start the little, like, poll things in the chat for it. Just to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Let's go ahead and drink some caffeine here. And as I said, I'm going to die to an ooh shiny by being like, ooh, I need caffeine, looking away and getting murdered. So by confusing them, I don't know, I don't remember how that actually interacts with the uh, standardized flea. For those of you who are wondering, these, the zealots and stuff like that will actually run away at low life. And I think with confuse, they will still run away. So they'll tend not to murder each other. But I'm not positive on that. I actually haven't bothered testing it out so we could test it out in just a minute I'm not sure I want to do that on a hardcore character though confuse is just handy so let's see in we go to the bazaar and look for our temple and look for doom and thankfully we are taking these things down so quick that we don't actually have to worry about them being healed ah uh, mana potion nope no mana potion from you you are making me upset a game. And yes, we do have Corpse Explosion. We can use it. It's not going to be that useful for me. So there's one down. Let's go ahead and confuse you, and we'll take out the other Sexton over here. Yeah, Sexton's not the toughest thing ever, but can still be a little bit irritating. They're going to be more irritating whenever we get into Hell difficulty. So... I just need to play it smart and not do anything crazy. So you are going to be confused and you might start shooting your friends. I forget whether he'll actually cast spells like that. I don't think he will. But we just want to kind of zoom up and down just looking for the waypoint. We want the waypoint and we want the... Oh crap. The um, temple. And so far, we haven't run across either. But we've only gone down one path. It's fine. Longstaff, worth nothing. That is worth nothing. Nefrun goes in there. We're going to need to clean this out probably fairly soon, unfortunately. But, yeah. Plus one, Skelly Mage, not worth anything to us. So let's see. You guys can drain all the stamina you want. We're just going to take your mana potions. So why I'm going a little bit further out is because, well, I'll recognize the shape of where the little waypoint thing is. That is the sewers that we need. Sexton down. Oh, he's going to get healed. You bastard. I think it's like two shots for us to take them down. And yes, we are going to be picking up pretty much every charm we come across and hoping, hoping that we get some more resists. 
Not extra gold. Let's go ahead and just slash them with this. Yeah, extra gold is just worthless to us. It would be nice if we were going for like a gold find build, which is a thing. You can actually build gold find builds. But it's not going to be useful for us in particular because we're already going to be kind of flush on gold. Even if our mercenary is dying a lot, we'll be flush on gold. Because we're playing a caster. It's, it's just one of those things that just it gets easy to get gold. But if we were playing, say, a tank or something like that that had to repair their stuff all the time, then yeah, then we would need to consider maybe getting a little bit of gold fine to offset those costs. But right now, not so much. And how are we doing on XP? Eh, not terrible, not great. There's the waypoint at least. So now we know where the sewers are, we know where the waypoint is. All we have to do is find ourselves the temple, Get and it's right here. Get ourselves the... Yeah, Ruin Temple. I'm going to... I keep wanting to put up a town portal. <sighs> Habits die hard. I'm moving that drink over here. If you're curious, I actually have two drinks here. I have caffeine and non-caffeine. That way I can kind of dose out the caffeine rather than overdosing and... Um, not necessarily overdosing, but overamping. Oh, God. Nope. Back up out of that. Back up out of that. Back up out of that. Okay. That was almost bad. We're good. We we're glad we actually had the bone armor up. Otherwise, that would have been probably death. We did drop a healing potion there. We are actually getting reactions from them with the bone spears as well. So we're doing good damage. Especially considering, if I remember correctly, those guys are magic resistant. So is this going to be... Yeah, cold resist. We definitely want resistance charms. Resistance charms are going to be... The life or death of us. Especially once we get into well difficulty. So, yeah, those are going to be the most, those are going to make it or break it for us. So the more we get, the happier we'll be. Now, as far as down in here, I'm going to go ahead and drop out that, see if I can bait some enemies into fighting it. Mainly because it will slow them down ever so slightly, and then we can just murder their faces. Hopefully, yeah, we can murder their faces. Didn't even actually take that much damage from that one. But the good thing about the bone wall... Let's see if we can actually... Nope, we don't have any enemies left. But it has a fairly good radius for attracting enemies. It, it really does kind of aggro them. So you don't really have too much to worry about. About, okay, I need to pull enemies into this point so I can actually shoot them. You just drop that down where you think they're going to be. They'll come towards it. So it's going to get a lot easier in Nightmare to deal with things like the Serpents in Act 2. Where you have the lightning enchanted boss mob and you have to kill them with it. So trade. Do we want to get rid of anything? No. We need to clean up our cube, but we also need to just get rid of this and get ourselves five more stat points, which are going to go straight into life. Because we're currently at 70 strength, we might want to get higher later on, but, yeah, it's fine. So, let's see. What we need to clean out is going to be the Maelstrom. We're going to keep the Nef. We're going to be putting that on a mule. I need to mule off some of these runes. We'll keep the Maelstrom just because it's a unique. We're slowly building up our hardcore grail, maybe. I don't know. Should we really try for a hardcore grail? That's something that I have not seen someone do on the interwebs. If we end up doing that, it might actually be on this character. It, that's that's I, I'm not even joking. It's this character, if we get the right gear for him, can be very good at that. So and he's a lot safer than doing, let's say, a sorceress grail. So the question is, do we farm up stuff for him to use to do the Grail on another character, or do we just go with it and let him just kind of suffer through whatever he suffers through? Like solo self-found Grail? That would take years, just for those of you who are curious. It's not something that will happen overnight. I, if I, we sh we're, I mean, essentially we're at a grail on the soft core. 
I don't have like all the eth items, like ethereal items, because I will throw away ethereal items that I have no use for. That's just what it is. But I have gotten more prone to saving stuff. So that is at least a thing. Oh, oh, we got lucky on that one. Okay. I'm good with this. And we are far enough away to not get frozen. Sweet. But as far as how we'd go through and actually start doing the Holy Grail, it has been a very long time since I did a lot of low-level magic find. But I guess that would be a good way to demonstrate all the stuff that I'm teaching you guys over on the YouTube end of things. Yeah, let's go ahead and get real game showy there. Um, for those wondering, yes, I do actually have... I, I'm recording this on the same day I released a magic find guide. One of many. If you guys can guess which one. At the release of this one, that would be like awesome sauce. Because I'm pretty sure most of the people who are watching this over on the Let's Play Everything channel are well aware of the main channel. Because I think every single one of them came from there. <laughs> All like 40 something of you. But I am setting... I, I am going to probably re-mention the Let's Play Everything channel about once a month, give or take. On the YouTube end of things. So that's a good start. Let's go ahead and get the hell out of here. All we have left to do is honestly go after the council. Which shouldn't be too difficult to do. And yes, we are going to be going a little bit slower through this than we'd normally do for normal difficulty. Because usually I'm not concerned about dying. On this one, I'm, I'm mildly concerned. I'm thinking we'll do something stupid and die and that'll be that. And let us see. Hi, guys. I also probably should vote. get a vote. Do you guys really want to see my ugly ass mug? <laughs> should I do a webcam or face cam on the Twitches? Personally, I'm not a big fan of it, but I am slightly curious if that is something that people actually, you know, refuse to follow for. Because I do know there's a lot of people who struggle to get any traction because they don't have a face cam. As far as me, I... I have resting beard face. So... I, I don't think you'd actually get much from a face cam. And yes, I said that correctly. Resting beard face. That said, it is trimmed down, but... Yeah, they claim it works, but it doesn't do much for you. And how's it going, Firinor? I, I personally, I can't be asked either way whenever it comes to watching people with face cam. It doesn't bother me, but it frankly, I don't look for it. Because half the time I see a webcam, it's in the way of something important on screen. <laughs> Which can get a little irritating. It's like, if I put a face cam like right there, what 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 does my mana look like? That's... Not super important, but it's there. Be more important for you to see my life. Although I do know that some people are picky enough that they're mad if I do... Let's see if I can actually get it to do it. Can I actually get that to... Eh. There we go. If I do that, there's people who get mad. Okay, so far this week. This week. That sounds ominous. Next week's going to be the damnation. No. Ah, oh, we now have recovery. And thankfully, we stopped moving just right at the right time there. Otherwise, we wouldn't have blocked. But yeah, going to do a bit of recording of this if we have time. That's a big if. We'll be doing some Celeste after this as well to get a little progress there. Those are the two main series I'm focusing on on the channel right now. As we get a little further in, I'll start up some other series. I do actually still have to edit some of the partial series we've done and try to finish those up as well, like Final Fantasy X, although I'm probably going to start Final Fantasy X over. Um, Tales of Brazaria we need to finish. Although pretty much nobody watched Tales of Brazaria on Twitch, which makes me kind of sad. It's actually one of the few Tales, yeah, Tales of games that I found tolerable in the gameplay. A lot of them, I want to like them. I really, really do. And they're not bad games. 
It's just their combat systems are often a little bit rough around the edges is probably the nicest way I can put it. Especially the older ones. They remind me of um, Star Ocean, but less dynamic, if that makes sense. Although maybe I should actually start with the like initial Tales of and move from there. I also need to finish Legend of Heroes, but I have I don't remember where the hell I was in that. So I might actually have to start that one over. Uh, and actually get that one quest that we missed there. That's that one quest still pisses me off to this day, by the way. Cause that that was entirely my fault. But my god. I felt like a dunce because of it. Yeah, you're you're fighting that. Kill the water watcher so it stops. Thank you. Go ahead and back up. Make that. Throw this back in there. We now have the flail. Okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and throw out some bone walls. Go ahead and get down here. Get up another bone wall there. And mercenaries probably... Oh, we've got a little dude right on top of us. Hi, guy. And Gollum is going to die. We might actually have to swap weapons just to summon up a new one. And there goes Mercenary. Yep. Okay. We got a little progress in on him. So if we back off, we should be okay. I'm not too concerned about the Mercenary dying. We'll replace him in a minute. So swap that in. Get him cast out at a higher level. Get up that. Although that's not going to really do too much for me. Because, well, yeah, it doesn't really do much. And where did the last one go? Or did we kill him? We killed him! Yay, and we also got Cathans. Cathans, not bad. Cathans is going to be a little bit of, if I remember correctly, um, yeah, resists. So, lightning resist versus cold resist. I think I prefer the lightning resist, honestly. But we'll see what the mercenary needs. As far as charms, we've got the large charm. Nothing else in here. So let's see. 10 poison damage? Nope. So let's smashy smashy one. Oh, we got it. There we go. So before we go down there, I do want to get the mercenary back. I do need him to be my meat shield against a certain enemy down here that you guys may remember. Oh yeah, it's our favorite. It is the fetish. Okay, resurrect Shalon. How are you looking? Level 24. Yeah, you're keeping up. And this is actually one of the places where... You can get some early magic items for, like, maybe some early crafting if you are really desperate. But I personally would wait until you get to Nightmare and can use some Nightmare items. But if you really just, if you want to get those, like, Frost Novas going, good time to do hit power. Just grab some Sapphires and go for it. We currently don't have any P-Gems saved. We could just farm them up and it wouldn't take too long. Uh, Act 4 is pretty good for it because you have so many Ghost types and stuff but act three and earlier eh, we're gonna struggle a little bit on it so mercenary you get to do all your jazz uh what i wouldn't give for enigma <laughs> so terror iron maiden weakness uh it's not gonna sell for a lot because it's a preserved head unfortunately otherwise i totally would consider that oh stygian dolls there's our fetishes and yeah, the reason I am letting the mercenary not be bugged right now is because of those. Because those are going to keep me from being able to tank anything here. And yes, our armor will help protect us against it for like if we make a mistake, but the mercenary takes zero damage from it, whereas we take full damage from it. So I need to be careful about that. And yes, we are going for Mephisto today. It might be a little bit of a long episode, but we're going to go for him. So we can start Act 4 just fresh and nice and clean as its own little special episode. And that's going to be a dead end. I can already tell because, well, we've already seen that wall. But I do want the experience. Ow. Thankfully, we have 80% resist all because Dark Glow is amazing armor. 
a lot of people talk about how bad the normal uniques are. And yes, they're, they're nothing compared to the, like the Hell Difficulty uniques or some rune words you can get. But it's really not bad armor. It's the kind of, this is an okay armor to actually use from normal. Most of them, kind of shit. But that one's good. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Is this going to be, no, this is not going to be anything. It's going to be some chests, though. This is an entrance down. Like, if we were coming from above, this could have been a spawn point as well. So that room is just a nothing for us right now. So let's see. Some more chests. I should actually start doing announcements of streams on the YouTube end of things. Maybe I'll shift the time we do shorts at on the YouTube channel. Because I do shorts on the main channel, for those that are curious. Um, it's just a call to action for subscriptions. That's really the only thing shorts are honestly that great for. They do, they do let you give some bite-sized information, though. But for the most part, they're just kind of eh. So let's see. Do we want to confuse them? Possibly. Because I don't know what that guy is. I keep almost getting a lock on him. There we go. He's cold enchanted. And he actually got the right name for it. He got the cold. Sweet. Now the question is, do we take the Berserker set? Mm, no. I never actually use the Berserker set. It's not a bad set. I just am always far enough along by the time I get to the Barbarian in runs that is just kind of like, mm, nah. <laughs> not interested. Okay, and no, the Golem doesn't take any damage from it either. So I don't have to worry about him getting bombarded by the little explodey voice. Speaking of bombarded, my back itches real quick. There we go. Had to scratch my back. Not my backside, just my back. Hi, uh, guys. Uh, you guys need to not die right next to me. See, that took out an entire segment of my shield. That would have been, what, 40, 50 damage? Give or take. And I did not mean to use that. But hey, ooh, lightning resist. Thank you. Thank you kindly, good sir. Yeah, I will always take resists, especially on hardcore. Yeah, we're currently capped out, but guess what? Those are going to be useful later. They're going to be very useful later. Okay, little explodey guys get distracted. Thank you. There's our level up. More life. We're going to need it later on. As far as skills go, I think we go for Bone Spear. We go for maxing that out as soon as possible. We are going to get the one point in Bone Spirit, though Bone Spirit is nowhere near as strong as it used to be. It used to be, like, really cut and dry that Bone Spear was your crowd control, Bone Spirit was your... Wait a minute, is that going to be... Ooh, ooh. Yeah, that would actually be okay for a White Wand if we had Dole Io. So we'll, we'll keep that. And usually by the end of Hell Difficulty, we've gotten a Dole and an Io as a normal playthrough. So that's going to be the stairs down. So we'll use the Town Portal trick. And then we're going to go find ourselves the waypoint first. It's not going to be super nearby because this is just its own little separate branch. I'm thinking it's probably going to be like down here somewhere. So all we have to do is find a door and make our way through. Making my way? Yeah, making my way. And let them go after each other because we're not in. Oh, God. Nope. You guys deal with that. I have no interest in this. I don't rem I don't think the explosions will actually hit the other ones if they're confused. Could be wrong on that. You need a key. Oh yeah, we are out of keys, aren't we? Yup. Yeah, we're keyless. So what should we be wary of down here? Generally speaking, the thing you should be most afraid of is going to be the explodey boys. So we have that. We have the waypoint right there. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit of a top off. And we'll empty out our cube because we do probably want to get to that room back. So Cathan's visage. I keep forgetting what helmet do we have on the mercenary. That's something I should probably check. And I should get these identified by a canage if he's able. 
So let's see. Attack rating, that's garbage. And that's some enhanced damage. That might actually not be the worst thing ever. So he's got a Frost Nova versus Cold Resist. I think we go for the Cold Resist. Although Frost Nova is super useful as poor man's... It's, this is just going to be better for what we're going to be dealing with. With him, at least. So goodbye, Frost Shield. We can buy another one super easy. Cathins, you can't just shop. You'd have to either gamble it or do the other stuff. Farm it. So we've got the Spare Town Portal there. That's not going to do any good. So let's see. Confuse on those guys. Yep, confuse them. Confuse them. So they'll actually fight each other. Uh, mercenary, please do not stand in that. Thank you, good sir. That is not where you need to be. Oh, wow, he was invisible for a second there. Okay, so these are the ones that are going to be problematic. Let's go ahead and grab... Oh, he is not being friendly. So Brem Sparkfist probably will kill the golem. If we can actually help the mercenary serve... We did. We successfully kept him alive. That's a plus. Let's identify you. We'll sell for some money. And do we actually have any healing potions down here? No, of course not. We got to rejuve, though. Oh, yeah, we do. We have a healing potion. I'm just going to take this nice and calm. Summon up things as necessary. We've got a rejuvenation just in case. We are saving up full rejuves. We will combine those eventually. Oh, God, XP Shrine. Sadly, that's not going to do much for me, but... Yeah, we've only got a handful of things to kill. And I just drank a mana potion for no reason! You go there. Okay, so we've got that one down. Mana Burn Boy dead. Nothing too scary here. We got our mana potion back. And as long as we can get rid of a good number of these before they murder us, we should have no problem with Mephisto. He will tear through Bone Wall and stuff like that, though. Oh, whoa. What? Why are you down this far, my dude? I mean, we are going to go ahead and do this to you, but at the same time, if our mercenary goes down, we're kind of doomed. And Golem's going to take one more hit, get another one up. And this should be enough to take him down before he kills the mercenary. Yeah, we got him. We didn't even have to cheese him. That? Did we, like, aggro him on accident? Did we accidentally ping him with a bone spear or something and I didn't notice it? I don't know. I'm confused. Usually he doesn't spawn that far down. But hey, we got we got the XP. I will open the cursed chest. Don't worry. There's the cursed chest. It had nothing in it, as usual. And if you guys are wondering why I call that the cursed chest, that is my own personal thing. I know a lot of people have found amazing things in that. I have not. Every single time I go for it, it gives me a bad run.